All parties in the matter of Graham versus Douglas. Step forward. Jeffrey Graham Sr. is suing former friend Caroline Douglas for an unpaid loan to fly to Los Angeles. Mr. Graham, in what state do you live? Uh, Missouri. And Miss Douglas, you? Missouri. Where in Missouri do you live? I live in Hazelwood. And how far is that from where you live? Several miles. You're going to have to explain to me about this plane ticket. It is your claim that the defendant owes you for a plane ticket. Where was the plane ticket to? It was to Los Angeles. Just her? Yes, You were not going? No, ma'am. So this is what I gather from your case. You met Miss Douglas online. Yes. And you had an online relationship for a while. And then there was a question of you meeting each other. I thought you were meeting at a central location. We did meet at a central location in St. Louis area. So tell me then, Mr. Graham, tell me about the plane ticket. Well, the plane ticket, basically, I got a call from Caroline. After you had met? No, this was before we met. Uh, I got a call from her on May the 8th. She was crying hysterically on the phone. She had loaned a friend of hers some money some years ago, about $800. And she tried to get the money back from that person. And then the person blocked her number after promising to pay her. So then she was crying hysterically on the phone. And I said to her, I can help you. No, but what did she need money for? Why was she crying? Well, she needed money to meet her daughter here in Los Angeles for an audition. I got it. you have a daughter in Los Angeles? No, ma'am, I do not. Was she coming to Los Angeles for the purpose of an audition? She was coming to the... Los Angeles for the purpose of an interview. Why was it important for you to go with her? My daughter is an actress, and I was, am her assistant, actually. Fine. So it was not necessary. You wanted to come with her to Los Angeles. They expected me to be in the meeting, yes. Okay. And May 8th, did you call Mr. Graham and tell him that you didn't have the funds for the ticket to Los Angeles? No. That's just a question. Otherwise, he would have to be a very good guesser. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. On May 8th, did you call him? Look N at me. No. She says she didn't call you on May 8th. Did you call him on or around May 8th? Yes. Did you tell him that you had loaned a friend money $800 years before? Or yes, ma'am. Or some time before? And did you tell him that you were counting on that money to be able to go with your daughter to Los Angeles for an interview? Yes, ma'am. Because otherwise, that's a sort of bizarre story for him to make up. And you're not on any psychotropic medication, are you, Mr. Graham? No, ma'am. Ever been hospitalized psychiatrically within the last six months? No, So you're not hallucinating, are you? No, Do no, Do you understand? Not. Yes, ma'am. Great. So you called him and asked him if he could get you a plane ticket, because that's what you needed. Money for a plane ticket or the plane ticket. No, ma'am, I Los did not. Angeles. Let me hear. So, on the day in question that he's speaking of, I sent him a text message saying, when you try to help someone, it's a shame when you try to help them, they don't want to help you in your time of need. And he questioned what I was talking about. And Show me. Sure. 